what's going on? Thank you to the people who bought training. Thank you to the people who are about to buy training. And thank you to the nerd tribe and your well-constructed comments. Before we get off into Black Friday sales have gotten off to a very rocky start, I want to address the Airbnb situation. This weekend, I was talking to one of the concierges who's been here for a minute, and he said at one point they had five Airbnbs in this building and he said they had break-ins they had cars stolen they had a lot of riffraff he said it was a really horrible time so for many of you who are talking about let that man rent his unit on airbnb it brings in a bunch of undesirables i mean proof positive and once again i knew this before i even reported this person with airbnb and i'm gonna stay on it because i want it gone because here's the thing and this is something that i learned renting out cars people want to rent some stuff that they cannot afford to buy this is highly problematic for many many reasons so once again on the airbnb thing they know that having Airbnbs in the building can be extremely problematic from a residency standpoint. All right. You know, uh, for those of you who celebrated Thanksgiving, happy holidays. And I live close to Phipps Plaza and I live close to Lenox. And typically, during the holiday season, getting on Peachtree Road is an absolute nightmare. And this weekend, I actually went on Peachtree and the traffic was kind of light because I forgot because normally I would avoid that situation. And then I just whipped it off into the Linux Mall parking lot, which like, let me go ahead and tell you what it was like a few years ago. You would go to Linux and you could not find parking. And this is one of the things that you would have. You would have these people who would come out to their car and act like they're getting in their car and pop the trunk, throw something in there, then go back in the mall. Typically, you would see people getting on their phones, knowing that parking's tight. This is one of the reasons I absolutely hate going to the malls this time of year. And it wasn't like that. It wasn't even close to like that. It looked like a regular weekday at the mall. Literally blew my mind. There was plenty of parking and I parked my car. I went in the mall, the mall was nowhere near crowded. So what I did is I went over to Perimeter Mall, saw the same thing. And then I went to Cumberland Mall, saw the same thing. The worst Christmas shopping season is on deck. I don't even know if the stores, cause at one point stores were opening up at like 6 p.m. on Thanksgiving. I don't even know if that happened. Cause you know, I, I didn't go out but the real economy is starting to impress its agency on the current economy. Now, what's the real economy? People don't have money. I have seven cars left to sell and I post them and the responses I get are way down. I will probably be selling these cars into 2023. And one of the things that I am seeing is that people don't have money. Like, let me explain to you why I stopped selling on eBay. If you didn't know, I was doing this thing where I was uh, posting Apple products on eBay and I actually had a few of them pop for more than I paid for them. But what happened was I would do what's called buy it now and I would do an auction. And every time I would do an auction, I would get 20, 30 extremely low bid offers, low balling offers. Like if I would have something up that if I let the auction conclude, I get 1500. I had people offer me 400, 500, 600, $700 consistently. And it just got so annoying because I know if I let it sit up there and then this is something else. And this is the reason that I stopped selling on eBay. And the last thing I had was a MacBook Pro and a guy from India bought it. And this is one of the things. Um, I had a set where I wasn't doing international sales because here's the problem. 
With eBay, for you to get paid, you must send your item with tracking. And sending something to India with tracking gets a little sketchy. You can send something to India with tracking, but it's extremely expensive. So someone who's bidding on something to get it cheap is not going to want to pay this expensive shipping. They're just not. And I was just sitting there like, I'm done with this because it, it just became a complete pain in the butt. It became... Um, annoying and it was just because once again i was dealing with people in the real economy and people in the real economy don't have money they just simply don't there are some people in this economy that have money but the average person doesn't have money due to inflation high cost of food high cost of gas they just simply don't have money and this is what we're seeing because i was really shocked because i had someone leave on the channel you know christmas people are going will there be people shopping for christmas absolutely there will be people shopping for christmas there will be people buying new cars there will be people be buying new houses but the demand has dramatically dropped i just got a new car an extremely expensive new car so th there will be people who are in this economy who are capable of participating in the economy it's just the average person can't update on the person that i know who is homeless and she met this guy in august married this guy in august now ladies any man that would marry you after a month i could tell you that's going to be a recipe for abuse that's going to be a recipe for abuse because men out here are tr not trying to get married they're not trying to give up their freedom and for someone to meet you in the month and give up their freedom and make such an ultimate commitment oh, there's usually something wrong so the abuse got worse she ended up in the hospital and now she's back to being homeless because she can't go back to his house this is another effect of the real economy domestic violence and why is domestic violence skyrocketing why is crime skyrocketing number one there's two kinds of criminals there's the career criminal and there's the people forced into crime i'm going to say there are people who've been forced into crime you've got someone who has um these are criminals of opportunity you may have someone who got laid off has children they in the store, they see this chicken, they put the chicken under their coat because they don't have enough money to buy the chicken. I have sympathy for those people who are struggling to the point that they are considering committing crimes, not to ball out or to flex, but to survive, to survive. So we have a, that's why I said there's two types of criminal. There's the career criminal and there's the person who who's literally at wit's end and they're starting to commit crimes because they need that money. And we're going to see a lot more. Right now, it is about to be December in a few days. And then a month after that, we will enter into 2023. And 2023 is going to be rough for a lot of people. It's going to be very, very rough because I guarantee you, when the numbers come out for the holiday season, they're going to be low. They're going to be low because the average person doesn't have money. The average person is out here struggling. The average person is catching hell. And once again, I, I really should have taken the camera because, you know, I, I didn't really expect that. I wasn't planning it, but I should have taken the camera and went to the malls and showed you that the traffic is way down. I remember one year, I think it was 2015, I went to Linux and it literally, I had to wait 12 minutes to get into the parking lot. And it took me another 
20 minutes to find a parking spot. That's how bad it was. That's how bad it was. I went over to Linux, literally took me three minutes to find a parking spot. So I, I compare and contrast that experience to what happened in 2015. And right now you still have people who are talking about, we're not in a recession. There are still people who are seeing that we're not in a recession. I keep seeing this. Well, a recession is on lock for 2023. We have been in a recession half of this this year. And there are many people who are like, well, nope, nope, nope. And it's because we have extremely low unemployment, extremely low unemployment, but we have crazy inflation. And one of the reasons that we have extremely low unemployment is a lot of people do not want to go to work. We have jobs out there. We have people who are capable of filling these jobs, but they don't want to go to work because they don't want to do those jobs. They want a social media lifestyle. You have a number of YouTubers, Instagrammers, and TikTokers putting out content on a daily basis, telling people you can make five, 10, 15, 20, $30,000 a month working four hours a day from the comfort of your home. And people are buying this stuff and they're buying these courses and they're finding out that it's simply not true. One of the things that people have to understand and people have to acknowledge is at some point, because right now this was the year of the great resignation. I'm quitting my job. I'm, and I saw a number of YouTube videos of people who quit their job who didn't have another job lined up. To me, that is foolishness. That is absolute foolishness. No responsible adult is going to quit their job without another job lined up or a copious amount of money in the bank. No responsible adult. And I guarantee you, if we were to go back and revisit these videos, a lot of these people who quit their job are struggling. The repo man, 6,000 cars per day are being repossessed. Foreclosures are starting to ratchet up. Now the foreclosure process is a lengthy process. Uh, we're not going to really see the impact of foreclosures on the housing market for about a year to two years because it takes time to go through this foreclosure process. Delinquent credit cards, credit card debt is at an all time high. This is the real economy. We're dealing with the real economy. And you know, I was getting ready to uh, start some additional businesses. I, I sent out an email. I need to send out another email to my people. There was I was going to start um, a moving company and I actually found a mover and got, you know, he consulted me and just told me about the industry and I decided not to go forward. And I'm going to tell you the primary reason I decided not to go forward. One, I was going to need a moving truck and I started calling around looking for trucks and it brought back a same feeling. The struggle I had buying the car for the car rental business. It was the same thing. Uh, these people would not even get back into contact with me for about two weeks. And then to get a new truck, you've got to wait six months to a year. And the pricing, and I'm just sitting there like, you know what, this is what's gonna happen. You're gonna go ahead and buy this truck. You're gonna get in the moving business. The economy's gonna crash. And you know, there will be moves. There will be people, people be moving. It's still gonna happen. But for the established movers with a book of business and people that have used them, they're gonna be in a better situation than someone just starting off. And I, I just saw what was gonna happen. I was gonna pay all this money for this truck, get in this business, it was going to be a struggle. And if I wanted to sell a truck, I guarantee you, by the time I got to that point, the price of trucks will drop. At some point, the price of trucks are going to drop. And I'm just sitting there like, I got these seven cars left out of 31. I managed to sell 24 of them. I got these seven cars left. And I'm just sitting here like, we're not, we're not going to spend the... <laughs> 
$150,000 to buy a moving truck and moving because, you know, once again, I, I, I seriously did my research. I went off of YouTube University. I found someone in the business and just everything. My research just indicated that this is I feel that the moving business is a good business. And I may revisit this in 2024, 2025, but in 2023, knowing what's about to happen, knowing that the interest rates are going to get to 10 percent, knowing that, you know, house moves are the most profitable moves. There will be a bunch of apartment moves. There will be a ton of those and there will be people looking for deals. And I'm just sitting there like, I don't want to get into that market. I just don't want to get into that market. So what, what I want you to understand is I am making judicious decisions based upon the research that I'm getting from the economy. Because, you know, like I said, car rental business was the first business that I had that I could I considered a failure. I consider the car rental business a failure because I did not make the money that I wanted to make. There was all kinds of things that happened. And I've learned from that. In many regards, I feel that that experience was really good for me because it opened up my eyes. Cause I've been hitting some home runs and I ha I didn't, you know, really do my due diligence um, as much as I could. And I'm not going to make that type of expensive mistake. Now, to the good, I have five hundred and fifty thousand dollars worth of tax deductions this year. That's kind of be good because it gave me tax deductions for last year, gave me tax deductions for this year. But going forward, I'm just not I'm being really, really um, prudent on what other business I'm going to get into, what other business I'm going to try to create and I'm going to come out with some new training. I'm going to come out with something totally different. So for the people who are interested in that, I'll be dropping that next month because like right now I have a lot of things in motion. I've got someone who and once again, you know, um, I, I just want to go, 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 go. Right. But, you know, when you're putting together something like, you know, I've, I've got someone who is building, who will start building a website for me next Friday, you know, and I got a lot of prep work to do before I announce what I'm going to be doing. So give me a little bit of time, but understand that the real economy, the real economy is now rearing its ugly head is pressing itself upon people. Black Friday sales are down. I mean, it, it's crazy what's going on. It is crazy. So I'm going to be judicious to the things that I plan on doing and the things that I plan on setting up in 2023.